Hey guys, it is Danny, and welcome to this update video on the tropics. And so in this video, we're going to be talking about our three disturbances that we have across the North Atlantic Basin. So we have our two invests, as well as that most recent disturbance that is located off the coast of Africa. And so before I go into details... Alright, so let's kickstart things with our disturbance located off Africa. So as you're seeing here on the 5-day outlook from the National Hurricane Center, it is given a 20% chance to potentially develop into a tropical cyclone. And so development of the system does not seem likely because conditions are only going to be marginally conducive. So if we'll have any development, it'll be very slow to happen. But for the most part, it seems as though this will not acquire tropical cyclone status and it is also going to be making its way out in the open waters so fortunately even if it does even if it does develop it is not going to be a threat to land and so now let's go on to invest 96 l so that is the disturbance that is located just off the coast of north carolina so we're seeing here that it is given a high 70 percent chance to potentially develop into a tropical cyclone during the next five days and so development of a tropical cyclone will probably happen maybe sometime today or early tomorrow because the system is expected to transition into a non-tropical low pressure area out there so that is when we really don't anticipate any more development of it so after today if we don't start to see the system really coming together having that defined center then it'll definitely not become a tropical cyclone after today so there is the chance that it could become a brief tropical cyclone and if it does it will occur the name odette which is the next name to be used for this hurricane season so it is going to be staying offshore of the u.s and not bringing any direct impact so let's take a look at it on satellite view and so we're seeing here that it is not very very organized it's not so symmetrical and it's really a broad low pressure area right there so without that defined center of circulation we don't really have a tropical cyclone being present here and so our models are expecting though that this will become a tropical storm all agree that it will achieve tropical storm status one even says a hurricane and i definitely think this will not become a hurricane because of its latitude it's going to be accelerating into much cooler waters as it, as it makes its way up to the northeast cooler waters inhibit much intensification or development of a tropical cyclone because tropical cyclones need warmth and moisture so all that would be lacking and so now let's go on to invest 95 l so that is the disturbance that is located out in the atlantic about midway between the windward islands and the coast of africa so as you're seeing here on the five day outlook this disturbance is also given a high 70 percent chance to potentially develop into a tropical cyclone during the next five days and so this is going to be making its way generally to the west northwest or the northwest and so it might be a threat to portions of the caribbean so the leeward islands might feel impacts from the system monday going into tuesday of the new week as it makes its way by so those areas should monitor the progress of this so we could have it making its way very close to the leeward islands or probably past north but we really have to wait and see what's going to be the eventual outcome because a lot of possibilities are on the table and there can be a lot of changes with this system here so in terms of its on satellite we're seeing here that there is not much going on at all for it so we have very limited shower and thunderstorm activity and we're definitely not seeing any rotation of the system here so we could have it acquiring all those uh, during the next couple of days while it's going to be remaining in that conducive environment and so now let's take a look at what our models are expecting in terms of the intensity so we have quite a bit of available models and actually most are expecting that after the next 48 hours or by the next 48 hours which is about sometime on sunday or so we could have the system becoming a named storm so our models are not expecting imminent development but by early next week we could definitely have it uh, intensifying probably into a, to a tropical storm and so if we have this developing into a named storm uh keeping the scenario that maybe 96l becomes odette then this will become peter but if 96l does not become odette automatically it would be 95l if it develops into a cyclone 
And so now let's take a look at conditions. So first up is the wind shear map. And so the different colors, they mean different shear intensity. So we have the green, that means favorable shear. The yellow, that means neutral. And the red, that means unfavorable. And so whenever you see a lot of those red lines, that means that conditions are not so favorable. And it is unlikely that we'll have much intensification taking place. So looking at the vicinity of 95L, we're seeing here that we do have it to be in a region with favorable shear but we do have that on favorable shear setting into the north of it but conditions are expected to remain favorable in this vicinity during the next couple of days as it makes its way to the west northwest and eventually to the northwest and so in terms of the ocean temperatures now so we have uh, ocean temperatures being very very conducive so they'll remain conducive for most of the hurricane season so for the rest of the season really we will have ocean temperatures staying conducive to help our tropical cyclones to develop so this is really the main fuel so this is what provides all that heat and moisture that our tropical cyclones or developing tropical cyclones need so we can definitely see so this will definitely be favorable for invest 95 l and as for 96 l once it accelerates more up to the north, it is going to be accelerated into much cooler waters and that is really going to be inhibiting any other development that's to take place. So that's why it is going to be transitioning into a non-tropical low pressure area with gale force winds being produced, guys. So we won't see much happening to 96L after today. And so now let's go on to the Saharan dust map. And so whenever you see those lighter yellow shades, that means that the dust is not very, very dense. But as we go toward the darker orange, going into that red and that pink shade, that is when we have a lot of dust being present. So in terms of 95L, it is sandwiched in a region of Saharan dust. So this is likely the reason we're not seeing a much shower and thunderstorm activity taking place with it because dry air inhibits moisture and without moisture we don't have those thunderstorms so this is exactly the reason we don't see much happening with it but again it is going to be remaining in some conducive conditions that will aid in its development during the next couple of days and so guys that is really it for this update video on the tropics so again we have invest 96 l which has the potential to become a named storm probably by today but that window of opportunity for it to develop is starting to close so we really have to wait and see what's going to be the eventual outcome and it is going to be remaining off the coast of the u.s not bringing any direct impacts and then we have invest 95l that we definitely have to watch so this is likely going to be a threat to portions of the northeastern caribbean by the early part of the new week and then we have our most recent disturbance that is located off africa that has a very low chance to develop and so guys if you found this video to be quite informative please give a thumbs up and you can also share your thoughts with me in the comments or ask a question i will try to respond as best and as soon as i can and just remember to always be wise and of course i will keep you updated as time goes by